You may wonder how you'll know if you or someone else has the coronavirus. COVID-19 is a new disease, and we are still learning how it spreads, the severity of illness it causes, and to what extent it may spread in the United States. So far, people who get sick start showing symptoms within two days to two weeks of being exposed. It's possible that people can spread the virus before they even feel sick, and this is why it's good to be careful. Symptoms of COVID-19 are similar to the flu. You might have a fever, cough, feel tired, find it hard to breathe, or feel short of breath. You can have these symptoms and not have the coronavirus. Other viral illnesses, like a common cold or seasonal flu, can make you feel the same way. Health organizations, like the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or the CDC, and local health departments are watching the coronavirus carefully and keeping track of how it might be changing with time. You can go to the CDC website to find the latest updates and guidelines for the U.S. Your state's health officials are giving regular updates to your doctor and making guidelines on who should be tested. These guidelines are based on all patient risk factors and our most current knowledge and understanding of this virus. Tell your doctor if you develop symptoms like a cough or shortness of breath and a fever, or if you think you might have been exposed to somebody with the virus, or somebody who traveled to one of the countries that has a high number of coronavirus cases. If one or more of these descriptions apply to you, call your doctor to explain what's going on before going into the office. Looking at the guidelines, your doctor will decide if you need testing, and if so, where the test will be done. Your doctor may also recommend testing for other common illnesses that can cause similar symptoms, such as strep throat or the flu. At this time, checking for the coronavirus involves collecting some fluid samples that are then tested in a lab. As you wait for results, the CDC suggests the following guidelines. These make sense no matter what illness you have. Stay home to cut down on the risk of getting other people sick. While at home, try to stay at least six feet away from your family so they're out of the range of your coughs and sneezes. Don't touch your hands to your face and wash your hands often. Sick people can wear a mask to help prevent spreading their germs, although it's unclear exactly how effective the mask might be. It's best to put on a fresh one each day. If you're healthy, Masks are not recommended to keep you from getting sick. They can sometimes make the situation worse because they need to be taken on and off the right way and properly thrown out. Lots of hand washing and keeping your hands away from your face is a better way to stay protected. If you start to feel worse and your doctor tells you to go to the hospital, call ahead and describe your symptoms so they're ready when you arrive. If you don't have a doctor, Call your local emergency department and tell them on the phone why you think you may have COVID-19 so they can be prepared when you come in. As of today, there is no cure for the coronavirus, but people are working hard to develop a vaccine. For people who are infected, there are treatments and medicines that can help them feel better while their bodies heal. As of now, about 80% of the people who get COVID-19 have mild symptoms. In children under 18, the COVID-19 infection has been mild. But if your child is showing symptoms like a fever, cough, and difficulty breathing, especially if your child already has a compromised immune system or a serious respiratory disease like asthma, then you should call your child's doctor. Sanitize and clean areas that you live and work in. It's a good idea to go to the store when you're healthy to make sure you have basics like cough and cold medicine, plus food to last two weeks. Get food that can stay on the shelf, things like cereal, soups, canned goods, and pasta. Remember, if you do get sick, you want to stay home for 14 days so you don't spread your germs in public. Doctors and scientists are working as fast as they can to get answers about the coronavirus. You can play your part by following these tips.